Thank you. Just a second here. Welcome to the Piano Starts Here live stream. Um, tonight we are celebrating the music of Mary Lou Williams and Thelonious Monk. Uh, I'm Alex Gilbert. We've got a lot of great performers um, tonight to, who are all here to bring something unique and exciting um, to the, the honor of the music of these two jazz greats. Um, Mary Lou Williams was a, a early uh, innovator of jazz piano, um, and but she didn't stay in the early jazz um, tradition forever. Um, she also became a an innovator in more modern styles of piano, um, and and she was also a great composer and arranger. She wrote a lot of um, really important arrangements for the likes of Duke Ellington, Benny Goodman. Um, and Andy Kirk and others. Um, and uh, she was also someone who was very generous with her time and receptive to the ideas of younger musicians um, and oftentimes had uh, late night jam sessions in her apartment. Um, and one of those younger musicians was Thelonious Monk who uh, became obviously one of the most important and innovative uh, jazz stylists on piano of all time. Um, yeah, when he was young, he would he would hang out at her apartment and they would trade ideas into the night. Um, if only I could have been a fly on the wall there um, to listen to what they were saying. Um, so we're we're gonna be celebrating both of these artists tonight, and I've got a few more tunes um, to play, and then uh, we're gonna bring up our next performer. So. Uh, Thanks a lot for tuning in and stick around. We've got a great show. I might mention that that last tune was uh, was called Bemsha Swing by Thelonious Monk. Uh, the tune I'm about to play is is uh, from Mary Lou Williams' uh, Zodiac Suite. It's called Aquarius. Um, that album was also a great um, kind of precursor to a lot of stuff that happened in jazz like modal jazz um, and the Ahmad Jamal trio um, but uh, and then I've got a few more um, nightlife uh, Mary Lou Williams and um, a monk tune called ugly beauty okay
Thank you. Thank you, audience. Um, so I'm going to bring up uh, our next performer, who is Ray Shellbread. Um, delighted to have him here. Um, just bear with us for a moment. We have to do a couple of uh, COVID precautions here. So um, he'll be up in just a second. But we'll give him a round of applause right now. Ray Shellbread. Are we on? No? Yes. This is on? Yes. Okay. recorded that song in 1936 and it was an old song then called Isabel written by Lucky Roberts. Uh, I'm going to play my favorite 
Mary Lou Williams song, something she wrote called Mary's Special. Very special. <laughs> now, uh, Mary Lou Williams played a lot of blues in Boogie Woogie, especially when she was first getting noticed in the 1930s. Her music actually went back to the 1920s. Uh, but I'm going to play one of her Boogie Woogie songs, sort of a moderate thing called Overhand, with a little bass line that she liked to use.
overhand. Hey, hold still. Well, I'm going to say what I thought I might say, which you, if you know the movie Wings of Desire, there's a moment in that movie where these angels who are out there and they're invisible and they're comforting people in Berlin. And Peter Falk, who used to be an angel apparently, says, I can't see you, but I know you're out there. I know you're there. And that's what it's like to be virtual. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna play one of the kind of things that musicians sometimes do is to take a song and dispense with the original melody and give it another name and play your own song. But uh, one of the things Mary Lou Williams did called Clean Pickin'. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, thanks. I'm going to play, uh, must have been her most popular song, Little Joe from Chicago, and mix in a little Thelonious Monk with it. I think that's all for me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, 
Ray Shelbred, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Have not basked in his glory in too long. Okay, uh, just one moment. We're going to bring our next performer up, but we have to uh, wipe down the. Well, I'm Nelda Swiggett. Thank you. And I'm going to start with a Thelonious Monk called, tune called Panonica.
Well, I just wanted to share a few more details about Mary Lou Williams, the things I wrote down. So she was born in 1910 in Atlanta, Georgia, and she was the second of 11 children. Pretty amazing. And she was performing publicly at age seven, and she was known that admired as the little piano girl, and she uh, was a professional musician by age 15. So um, she was an acting performer and recording artist and jazz teacher throughout her life until her death in 1981, including performing for Jimmy Carter at the White House in 1978. So I'm going to play a tune she composed, the Bebop Pit in the land of Ubladi. It was composed for Dizzy Gillespie. Um, and lyrics were written by uh, Milt Orent, and I'm going to attempt to sing these very seri silly lyrics. This is called, in the, again, In the Land of Ubla D. Some prince and the land of Ubadi. He smiled and said, Ubadilla, I mean it, you appeal to me. I said, Ubadilla, la bendu with pride. Ooh, ooh, dilla, la bendu, let's take a ride in the land of Ubadi. Ubadi. Pedro may ride to his castle and the land of Ubadi. And there I met his two brothers, a bluey da and bluey dee. A bluey da without a doubt was twice my size. Do we believe the other brother had three eyes? And they both had eyes for me, oop la dee. I love the handsome prince from the land of oop la dee. I asked him, ooby dub to blue, a darling, will you marry me? He said, ooh, bloody do doo you see, he blew. There is nothing in the world I'd rather do. The land of ooh, bloody ooh, bloody. They led me right to the altar and the land of ooh, bloody. I had a very bad feeling. Things did not look right to me. So before I said I do, I looked aside. They had pulled the switcheroo, they changed the guy. Oh, they can't do that to me. Westerbound freight from the land of Ubladi. I jumped when I saw the prince uh, who was waiting there for me. And now we say Ubladi do the do be blue, meaning I will always be in love with you in the land of Ubladi. Ubladi. the land of Ubladi. So I am also going to play a, a Mary Lou Williams tune from her um, classically influenced Zodiac Suite. This one is called Taurus.
I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play one more tune and. Um, I would just want to share a little bit that I learned about Thelonious Monk. I mean, Thelonious Monk amongst jazz musicians is just a legend. Um, but it was very interesting to read about his life. He had a difficult life. It was an interesting life and not easy. So he was born in 1917 and was, as was said earlier, a close friend of Mary Lou Williams throughout his life. And his records, he, he was a really an innovator. And, his, and frankly, his records did not sell well. So I found this um, quote. Um, one record star owner told the monk advocate and writer, Lorraine Gordon, quote, he can't play, lady. What are you doing up here? The guy has two left hands. You just wait, she said. This man's a genius. You don't know anything. And I think she was right. So, so I'm going to finish th with a tune by Thelonious called Crepuscule with Nelly. And Crepuscule, if you don't know, means twilight or dusk. And Nellie was Thelonious Monk's wife. And my husband likes to call me Nellie as well. So I had to play this tune. I had just chose this tune.
Okay. Um, I'm unmuted. Okay. So, let us invite up to the stage the great Ryan Burns. Thank you. It's been so nice listening to uh, Ray, Nelda, and Alex, and uh, I really miss, this is kind of a home away from home for me, so it's great to be here at the Royal Room. And uh, Brad, am I talking into the right microphone? Yes. Brad Ruda, doing a great job back there, and uh, <coughs> I, I would need another pandemic to work up some Mary Lou Williams. I don't have any of that in me, but um, I'm going to play some Monk songs and I'm not going to try to reinvent the wheel or anything so uh, see what kind of heads I remember I'm going to start with this one called Monk's Point and uh, some people call these monk chords uh, but the human voice and guitars they can bend notes and all of that well Monk found a way to do that on the piano and so this song has uh, one of those kind of bent notes in it Thank you. That was Monk's Point. 
And this next one, uh, I think I'll play uh, a ballad called Ask Me Now. Thank you. That was Ask Me Now by Thelonious Monk, of course, and this is also by Thelonious Monk, um, Trinkle Tinkle.
thank you. Do I have time for one last? This one's a mashup. A short mashup. <laughs> Give it up for Ryan Burns, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Nelda Swiggett. And Ray Shellbread. Um, I'm, I'm really thankful. I'm always thankful for the performers. We get wonderful performers for this series. Um, but tonight I, I, have, uh, I have three people with me who I think have been uh, really crucial in the building of this series and and they've always they always come and, and bring something incredible um, and uh, and bring people out and um, if it wasn't for them uh, this series wouldn't have lasted as long as it has so I really appreciate you guys um, and thank you for tuning in um, thank you for donating um, we wish you were here. We really wish you were here. Uh, this is this is hard <laughs> to do this way, but it's it's better than nothing. And I I just can't wait until we can actually get back to performing in front of an actual live audience. Um, so since this is called Piano Starts Here, I like to start with piano and also end with piano. I'm going to play a, a short tune. Um, it's a standard, and it's something that. I kind of associate with Mary Lou Williams because she did a, an arrangement of it for Duke Ellington. She also did a nice um, solo version of it and uh, hopefully it has some prescience. It's called Blue Skies. <laughs> <laughs> 